System Architect has a capability called Workspaces that enables you to build as is and to be architectures or current state and future state architectures, and then add to those architectures, delete items from the architectures, change them, compare them, merge them selectively, and then move forward with your architectures. So there's a tool called SAEM, System Architect Encyclopedia Manager, which enables you to manage the repository, which is called an encyclopedia. And in here, you can turn on workspaces and manage them. So for this encyclopedia we're looking at, which is a DODAF encyclopedia, we have a root, so we baselined the repository at some point, and we created new versions of it, which are writable, a writable version of the current state and then two new future state architectures, which all start out the same. They have the exact same information as the root, and then changes are made, additions, subtractions, edits, etc. And then you can compare them and merge. So, uh, and then at some point, you can select one of these workspaces and, and baseline it and create a new chain from that. So we'll, we'll uh, as, as an admin, I'll add a new workspace here. Future state three. And that's done. So I'm in future state two here. This is a capability uh, diagram showing capabilities and the activity that enables them. And what we'll do is move over to, we'll open the same repository. And there's that new workspace, future state three. So if we come in here, we have that same diagram, but it's a little different. You can see the lines are a little different because this is what has come from the baseline, right? And I had tidied up that other diagram in, in Future State 2 uh, prior to this video. So what we'll do here is uh, add another capability, right? Let's uh, add something like um, acquire target in snowstorm okay and um, we'll choose uh, the relationship activity part of capability to say that activity enables it okay and now uh, for this um, particular capability. Let's just uh, show it with an adornment instead of the other graphic. So, we, so we've made a change. And, and then let's also, um, say, make a change to an existing capability. So we'll say, well, for the purposes of the demo, we had some text here um, about this capability. Okay. So we've made a change. We've made some additions to this future state three. And um, you could save the diagram that makes um, the tool know that the symbols are on this diagram um, and um, the information is added to the repository as soon as you add it but the diagram is now saved to show the symbols are there so let's go over now to uh, um, merge workspaces so we'll merge future state 3 with say future state 1 Okay. So it runs the merge and it gives us the differences between those two workspaces to a very granular level. So we can see here, and um, I'm filming this at a, a reduced screen size, so I have to scroll here, but uh, we see there are two new additions and there are two changes. And so what it saw was that the additions are the um, that new capability and also the new relationship that was added. And then it found the diagram itself changed because we added new symbols to it and saved the diagram. And then also this capability, identify target by facial recognition, was changed, right? 
And so uh, what we can do is view what the changes were. So you can see here that um, this text was added to this version of um, the architecture, right? And it tells you what time and date, etc. cetera, um, each of these was created. So this, uh, this was the original one. And, um, and this one is um, the one that um, was added. Okay, so we can now selectively choose what to merge over. And what it will do is I'll add the, um, maybe the capability and the symbol and the diagram and, and the relationship. Okay, and then do the, um, the completion of the merge process. So you can see the information was moved over into future state one of the encyclopedia. And we're open to that. And we'll now open that diagram and see the changes moved over into that um, other workspace. Right. And so that's workspaces in system architect and how you can compare them. And then um, at some point, um, this would be uh, potentially baselined and, and um, create, a, create a whole new um, set of future states.